Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Daphne from Scrap and Create. I hope you're having a good morning. I want to share with you my latest project, which is Jane's Memoirs. This is a blue fern collection. Before I get started sharing the inside of the album, I want to let you know I did something a little bit different on the tutorials. So I have been wanting to go to um, uh, a crop retreat, which I did for the first time um, for one that I wasn't working at. So I went to a crop re retreat this weekend and I finished this project and I recorded it while I was at the retreat. So in the tutorials, uh, not the walkthrough, but in the tutorials, you're gonna hear a lot of background noise. Now I cut out as much as I could with software, but I think it's gonna be pretty distracting. So I wanted to let you know ahead of time, you can go ahead and turn the volume off and I do run the banners like usual. And also there's a cut list in the description. So if you find the background too distracting, um, like I said, I did what I could with software. Um, I went ahead and released it with the audio, but feel free to, to just turn that off and use the banners and the cut list in the description. So bear with me on that. Um, I just wanted to make good use of the time while I was there and I'm happy with the project as it turned out. So let me share with you what's going on on the cover. So I use three packs of the blue fern. There's 10 sheets per pack. So the base um, and then a layer above that and then a third layer, which are these three flowers to make this dimensional cover. Um, these are what's called bits and bobs um, and they come in a package that you cut apart. Uh, this is also a bit and bob. I also layered the title. This was like the signature page. It's just a spray of uh, flowers. It's really pretty. There's our spine and the back. And if I hadn't mentioned it already, it's eight and a half by eight and a half by two and a half. Okay, so here's our inside liner. Um, I just uh, added this. It was cut apart from one of the 12 by 12 pages. You can see a little bit and bob peeking out right here. This is probably my favorite image. This is a six by six panel, and then this is a five by seven. So this lends itself to larger photos. Um, which I think is really pretty. I think I would probably leave this as is as a designer feature and then maybe put a four by six in here. You could even do a four by four on the side and still take advantage of those beautiful floral sprays. Okay, this makes a perfect spot for some journaling. Um, there's a nice seven by seven insert here under the belly band. So there's plenty of room for photos, plenty of room for a nice big photo here running um, horizontally across the two panels. So that is page one. Each one of the po each one of the four pocket pages has a an insert that is fully covered on one side and partially covered on this on, on the back. Now I did have scraps left over and you probably could cover both sides um, but you would have to do some uh, fair amount of color blocking on the back side which would actually probably look really pretty, but I was anxious to get some content out for you guys. Okay, so lots of bits and bobs here. So I cut out a frame. This is a bits and bob too, and then I, I cut out the opening, bits and bobs right here as well. The key, and then this is actually two layers. Um, so I popped this image up as well. And then you open it. I've got two, um, pockets with tags and this is part of the bits and bobs as well and I think I need to cut my tags down so they slide in and out easier more bits and bobs and they're um, just have a, a pattern on the back so if you decide you don't want to use the bits and bobs um, on a particular page you can use the back side as just designer paper as well so you've got choices here's another bits and bobs and again another large photo mat. <clears throat> this key I thought was so pretty. Bits and bobs. And so, it, so is the second layer here. Okay, and then I've got a tuck spot here. Bits and bobs. And I like that the back side of the bits and bobs aren't just plain or white, so they look nice against your layout. I've got a tuck spot here. Um, and a large cut apart and a tuck spot here with two tickets, which were really pretty. Okay, page four and five. Again, another large photo mat. 
I fussy cut this frame out and I tucked a, a bits and bob in here just so I'd remember to share with you that it's actually cut apart or cut out. Bits and bob here, here, and here, and then a little tuck spot. There's another key, and then um, this little bits and bob. So all of these are hand cut. Um, so if you're a fussy cutter, you're gonna love this. Um, and the way they frame these um, with this light pink frame made them very easy to cut out. It was very easy to see my line. Okay, and then here's our last page. Again, we've got this nice six by six layout. I've got a little piece of tape stuck here that I'm gonna have to work with. You could easily put a four by four right here, still have a little bit of room for journaling, or a four by six here and leave some of this image intact. Or, like I normally do, put your photos on the B side. And another seven by seven large insert. I covered one side. Okay, there is in the description, if you click the show more, the first thing you're going to see is a material list. So I did use three packs of the 12 by 12 and, and one pack of the bits and bobs. And um, I also go over some of my staples that I use. The black cardstock, the tape, the glue, that kind of stuff, that's also there as well. If you um, scroll down beyond that, what you're going to find is the cut list. So as usual, I'm running a banner when I'm cutting, so you have that as well, but the cut list you can do in advance. This is very much geared toward beginner. Um, it's a very elegant album, but it was very simple to make. So thanks everyone for tuning in and sharing your time with us here at Scrap and Create. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you could take a moment to subscribe, you'll be notified of future projects. And if you could like, that goes a long way to helping us out with um, YouTube. And um, it gets the YouTube algorithm to present us as a recommendation to other like-minded scrappers. So we really appreciate you taking a moment to do that. Um, again, this is Daphne from Scrap and Crate. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you soon.